Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today, finally talking about a topic that has been rolling around the old cranium of mine. Finally today, we visit it. It has been a long time in the making, but I wanted to be patient, I wanted to see if anything would develop here. But now is the time to talk about, as the title states, Bethesda's Next Gen Silence. Of course we've seen the release of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X slash S. A lot of people have their shiny new toy and they want to make the most use of it so they want to see the games take full advantage of the brand new hardware. We're seeing a lot of companies go back and update their games in fun ways to give them a second lease on life. For example, Neo 2 is boasting in 2021 a brand new next gen upgrade bringing the title to 4k 120 fps among some other bells and whistles. Greedfall, one of the cooler RPGs that's released in the last couple of years, is bringing new content to the game thanks to these next gen consoles. We've also seen Ori and the Will of the Wisps go back back and update itself to be 4K 120 FPS to take advantage of the Xbox Series X slash S. So these consoles really do boast a lot of power. And what's interesting is we have a company, Bethesda, who has a wealth of fantastic IP that a lot of people adore. And we have yet to hear anything they plan to do when it comes to these brand new consoles. Now I have some ideas swirling around my brain as to why that may be the case, but I wanna pick your brain on it, of course. What do you think is going on with Bethesda's whole next gen situation? So let's get it started with where they currently stand. As of August 6th of 2020, Bethesda announced that there will be free next-gen upgrades just for Doom and Elder Scrolls Online. They announced this via a Bethesda net post, and as it stands when you go to the Slayers Club for Doom's website, where it was posted early in November, when asked if the upgrade will be available on day one of the console, they say the upgraded next-gen versions of Doom Eternal will not be available day one. However, Doom Eternal will still be playable on Series X slash S and PlayStation 5 with backwards compatibility. And when they know the timing of the availability of the upgrade, they'll let everyone know. As for Elder Scrolls Online, what they do say for that is that they'll be played in backwards compatibility mode. So if you're on the PS5, it'll run as if it's on the PS4 Pro with a more stable frame rate and much better graphical fidelity. And with the Series X, it'll run as if it was in an Xbox One X version. So once again, better graphical fidelity and more stable frame rate. But when it comes to any more info shared on ESO's next-gen upgrade, it directs you back to the Bethesda Net article where they just said pretty much, hey, it's coming, we're doing a next-gen upgrade eventually. Now, I'm not gonna complain at all. I like both of these games a lot, so I want to see them take advantage of the next-gen hardware. However, I find it strange with the likes of Fallout, and of course, we know Skyrim. Skyrim's gotta be getting an upgrade. Why Bethesda has been quiet on it? As it stands, all of these games run in backwards compatibility, and like most games out there, they look a little bit better, and they, of course, run a little bit better. But, that's where it really stops. We have a significant example with The Evil Within 2 where their frame rate is uncapped. So you can fire that up on your Series X or you can fire it up in your PlayStation 5 and this is running in 60 frames per second, which I thought was pretty cool. Once again, this gives it a new lease on life. And I can at least speak from my own personal experience where I say that Sekiro, a game that I went out, I played, I beat the Genichiro boss, I went, this isn't for me. Now with it having 60 FPS just uncapped, no real next gen upgrade yet, I thought, hmm, I kind of want to play this now. So 60 FPS can go a long way for a lot of people as they kind of adjust from that 30 FPS console lifestyle and embrace something new here. But with Bethesda owning, like I said, the likes of Fallout and Elder Scrolls, the fact that these games haven't received a next-gen patch is quite interesting. Now, don't get me wrong, here you're seeing some footage from a respective YouTube channel that I'll have linked in the description down below, and you're seeing it run on the Series X versus the Xbox One X, and it's very impressive how quickly Fallout 4 will load up, it'll get you into the game. I mean, it's a good minute difference, and I think, quite frankly, that makes all the difference. You wanna just get in there, and this is just sheer power, right? There hasn't been a patch for Fallout 4 yet to take advantage of the new consoles. Now, Microsoft did promise that this would be a game that would run on 60 FPS on even the Series S, but as it stands, and I don't have a Series S, but I went ahead and researched, that patch is not out yet. Now, I wonder if, and this is my speculation here, the reason we haven't seen Bethesda talk much on next gen from Doom Eternal to Elder Scrolls Online to of course Fallout to Elder Scrolls, I think the reason they've been so quiet about all of these games is because of Xbox acquiring Bethesda. Maybe this held some things up, or more than likely, when the deal is officially sealed, because right now it is a intent 
to acquire Bethesda. They haven't actually acquired them yet, or technically Zenimax, but they're gonna acquire all of the Bethesda IP alongside that. And when that does happen, Phil Spencer has already gone out of his way to say, this will bring the entire Bethesda library into Game Pass. And I think what's gonna happen here is that when Bethesda is fully acquired, it's not the intent, but they are actually underneath the Microsoft umbrella, we will see a wealth of announcements from all of their games saying, we have a bunch of next-gen upgrades coming, and this will help bolster Game Pass. We just saw recently where someone from Xbox had gone out of their way to say that, well, we may or may not do exclusivity, but we're really looking to make Xbox the best place to play Bethesda games. Now, I don't know if this means that they're gonna cut PlayStation out of the equation because as it stands now, it still runs at 30 FPS, it being Fallout 4 on the PlayStation 5 with that quicker load time, same thing with the Xbox, but let's say the next gen upgrades come, are they just coming to that Xbox family? Because it would be really interesting and help bolster Game Pass if you could say, hey, the best console version of Fallout 4, Skyrim, Prey, Dishonored, all of these games are available on just Xbox Game Pass. And of course, PC is already there. Especially with Skyrim being ported literally everywhere, that is the most baffling silence out of all the titles Bethesda has, that they haven't done anything with Skyrim. Now, a viewer kindly pointed out to me one very interesting tidbit and in that there is a mod, a console mod, that you can download that will uncap your frame rate so you can run these games in 60 FPS if you would actually like to on the new systems. And I thought this is something worth knowing and it may be why Bethesda has exercised patience in getting their next gen updates out. Also, but Todd Howard said this and obviously I would say take this with a grain of salt. They say they don't like to do anything small. So I don't know if that means like with Fallout 4 or Skyrim, that new content would come alongside that. Cause for me, that would be very exciting. And I imagine for the rest of you out there, that'd be exciting. But that once again is my own speculation as it stands, what we've seen in the terms of new things from Bethesda since the Bethesda being acquired by Microsoft deal going through is that the Arcane collection got leaked and then eventually announced. And this boasts a insane package, which I saw on sale during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals for $20 and it has every Dishonored and the Prey reboot. Like that, that is like four amazing games all together for like 20 bucks. Take advantage of this thing, even if it's full price. It's so good. There's so many good games in there. But even that you think would take advantage of the new consoles and it has yet to. So it's very perplexing when you're looking from the outside, but I do think this Xbox deal may be holding things up where they want to go ahead and just say, hey, Bethesda games their best on Xbox. And it will be interesting to see what happens really with the PlayStation versions. Now, there is one game, I think, within the entire Bethesda catalog that needs a next gen update more than anything. And that game is Fallout 76. Fallout 76, and I said this in a recent video, feel free to check it out, it's called Fallout 76 Actually Surprised Me, is getting better. Fallout 76 is making its way. And I know it's something that a lot of people don't want to accept, they don't want to talk about, they've sort of made up their mind about it. I understand that. I'm not saying you gotta forgive it or sing its praises, I certainly haven't. But I do admit, it's getting better. And with that, I think something that is 100% necessary for a game that, at least on the base PS4, still performs like doo-doo, is a next-gen upgrade. Out of everything on the list, yes, of course, Doom Eternal. It's a 2020 game, get that out there. Elder Scrolls Online, super popular MMO, yes, get that out there. But I genuinely think the game that can benefit the most from a next-gen upgrade, as someone who plays Fallout 76 on PC now, 100% is Fallout 76, whether it needs to look better, especially the power to run better. The 60 FPS makes probably the biggest difference out of everything in that catalog with Fallout 76. Just the responsiveness, the feeling of, of being very heavy and sluggish, all that kind of is erased when I played 170 hours, like I said, on PS4 versus coming over to PC for a handful of hours. Immediately I went, whoa, this, this is huge. This is actually something that console players who are gonna eventually be adopting these new systems need to experience. Now, my head is not so far up my own ass that I'm not aware of this. These consoles, while they're selling extremely well, they're in high demand, people want to buy them, there is a demand there. Not enough people have them where I think Bethesda may be playing the patient game, waiting till 2021 to announce all of these updates where there is more inventory, there's more people with the consoles in hand, more people to take advantage of these next gen upgrades, and of course, more time to work on the next gen upgrades to maybe make that speculation I had earlier of a Skyrim update with new content, a Fallout update with new content, 
come to fruition because I feel like Skyrim Special Edition kind of is that Skyrim update, right? Like, oh, look at everything we changed from the lighting to the textures. So how do you carry that a step further with these brand new consoles? And I feel like, yeah, of course, you're going to make them look better, run better. But can you go a little bit further? We'll see if Bethesda is interested in doing that, whether it's a actual update that's free, which they said they will be free, but more content brings the question of cost. So it's very interesting how they've been quiet, but I wanted to go ahead and unpack this because I think there's a lot more that meets the eye here. And it's very strange that they've only announced it for ESO and Doom Eternal and not a bunch of other titles that people definitely want to see updated and that I think maybe played far, far more. I know that, say, ESO has more of a recurrent player base, but the fact that even Fallout 76 wasn't mentioned there, and that just came out a couple of years ago and is still building its player base, very strange by Bethesda, and since then they've been quiet on next-gen upgrades. So we'll see in due time, but it's a topic I wanted to visit. I feel now's the right time. With my luck, I will have this topic out. It'll be around and discussed for maybe two days. And then Bethesda will be like, hey, gamers, what's going on? We got your next gen upgrades right here. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this out now while I think the time is right and we'll see what Bethesda does. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I leave it in your hands. Let me know what you're thinking about Bethesda's next gen silence in the comments down below. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below. Big thank you to all the patrons, all the members who push the limits of the content here. Appreciate each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.